You know, it's pretty incredible when you think about it. What if I told you that a tiny project, one that started with just 800 lines of code in late 2022, is now one of the absolute biggest names in AI? Well, that's the Langchain story. And in this explainer, we're going to break down its wild journey from a simple open source tool to a billion dollar unicorn. And when I say a big name, I am not kidding. The company behind Langchain recently hit a staggering valuation of $1.25 billion that officially makes it a unicorn. I mean, that is just a massive number for any company, which, well, it leads to a pretty obvious question. How on earth does a free software library become worth that much money? That's the puzzle we're going to solve today. We're going to follow the code, look at the problems it solved, and unpack the billion-dollar business that grew up right alongside it. Okay, so to really get our heads around that billion-dollar valuation, we have to start at the beginning. Langchain's rise is, honestly, a masterclass in just how ridiculously fast things move in the world of AI. I mean, just look at this timeline. It's insane. In October 2022, Harrison Chase pushed the very first version, a mere 800 lines of code. By early 2023, it already had so much momentum that they formed a company around it. And now, by 2024, it's a billion-dollar unicorn with its first major stable release. The speed is just… staggering. And this isn't just empty hype, either. The investors putting money behind Langchain are a literal who's who of Silicon Valley. We're talking about Sequoia and Benchmark. These are the venture capital firms that back giants like eBay and Uber. Even Google's own VC arm, Capital G, is in on the action. See, when firms like these invest, they're not just betting on a company. They're betting that they've found a foundational piece of the next big shift in technology. So to understand that huge opportunity they're betting on, we have to kind of hop in a time machine and go back to the world of late 2022. We need to look at the very specific, very frustrating problem that Langchain was built to solve. So back in 2022, before large language models, you know, LLMs, had all the fancy features we have today, like tool calling, getting them to do anything truly complex was, frankly, a total mess. Developers had to basically handhold the model through every single step, and there was absolutely no standard way of doing it. And this is where Langchain had its brilliant breakthrough idea. The name kind of gives it away, right? It let developers chain together a series of prompts. This super simple concept was actually a really powerful way to organize how you talk to an LLM and it suddenly made it possible to build apps that could do useful multi-step things. All of a sudden, building with LLMs was way more accessible to a whole new wave of developers. But that explosion in popularity, well, it created a whole new set of problems. As more and more features got tacked on to keep up with all the new research papers and cool techniques, the framework itself started to become the problem. And you don't have to take my word for it. The team themselves admitted it, saying the project had grown unwieldy. In that frantic rush to add every cool new feature, Langchain just got bloated and complicated. The simple tool that developers first fell in love with was now, honestly, a source of frustration. You could really feel the frustration in the community. Developers were writing way too much code for simple stuff, they couldn't figure out what was happening under the hood because of hidden prompts, and they were just overwhelmed because there were like a dozen different ways to do the exact same thing. Langchain had become a victim of its own success, and something really had to change. And that big change came with the 1.0 release. It brought some much-needed clarity by splitting the framework into two very distinct tools, the original Langchain and the brand new LangGraph. The difference is actually pretty simple. Think of it this way. Langchain is now the easy, high-level tool you grab for quick prototyping. It's the fastest way to get something working. LangGraph, on the other hand, is the powerful, low-level framework for building complex, production-ready AI agents where you need total control over every little detail. So the new Lang chain is all about that simplicity. It follows this really clean, predictable loop. You send an input to the model. The model decides if it needs to call a tool. The result of that tool comes back to the model, and then you get your final answer. It's designed to be totally straightforward and easy to get started with. LangGraph, though, that is a whole different beast. It's all about control. It basically puts your AI agent on rails. So instead of letting the LLM just improvise and decide what to do next, you define the exact path it has to take. The LLM becomes just one predictable piece in a highly structured process that you design. And to give you even more control, they introduce this really powerful new concept called middleware. The best way to think about these are like hooks that you can place at any point in that agent loop to stop, modify, or just observe what's going on. And this is where middleware becomes so incredibly useful. 
You can use it to add a human in the loop, so a person has to approve a step before it happens. You could use it to summarize long conversations to save money on token costs. You could even have it automatically remove sensitive customer data. It's a total game changer for building agents that are safe, efficient, and reliable. So, with these seriously powerful new tools in their arsenal, where is Langchain headed next? Well, this brings us to their business model and their grand vision for the entire future of AI. Okay, so remember that question from the beginning? How does a free open source project become a billion dollar company? Well, here's your answer, Langsmith. While all the core libraries are free for anyone to use, they're supported by this paid commercial platform. Langsmith is the engine that funds the development of all the free tools everybody uses. And Langsmith is designed to solve all the messy real world problems you run into when building with AI. You need to understand why your agent is failing. It's got observability tools. You need to actually get your agent running in production. It helps with cloud deployment. You need to let non-technical people on your team build agents. There's a no-code builder for that. It's the full package for the entire AI development lifecycle. And this really reveals their ultimate ambition. Langchain doesn't just want to be another library you use. Their goal is to become the essential layer for the entire AI ecosystem, the one central platform where all serious AI agent engineering happens. Which, of course, all leads back to that $1 billion question. With a clear strategy, these powerful new tools and a solid business model, has Langchain finally built the foundation we all need? Is this the platform that's going to take AI agents from just being interesting prototypes to being indispensable tools that actually change how we work and live? The code's been written. Now the real test begins.